All right, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another Wednesday Hump Day with Grimace here on the Flannel Panel. The Flannel Panel. All right, so this week we are talking about the big oil spill in America. Uh, first off, I'd like to start by saying, Lori, you are so right. Uh, the, the root of this problem is the demand for this problem, or for this problem, for this oil in our cars, in our plastics, in like everything that we use, essentially we're wrapping ourselves in oil and this demand for it is, uh, is fueling disasters like this. And uh, we as consumers are just as much to blame the, as uh, BP or uh, the United States government or any government of the world. Uh, we as consumers create this demand, therefore fueling the supply. Um, I, I'd like to say that uh, I, by choice uh, in my life, have chosen to take things like public transportation, my bike, rollerblades, uh, whatever it is. I've uh, purposely in my life not purchased a vehicle because I've actually consciously, consciously uh, thought to myself about this like years and years ago that I didn't want to contribute more to this problem than I needed to. Uh, I'm not saying I'll never get a car, but up until this point, and I am 28 years old, uh, for most people, it's that's like... 12 years of driving that I've uh, taken away. So I don't know, I'm not looking for a pat on the back or anything because most people look at me like I am retarded for not owning a vehicle, which I think is completely crazy. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, I found it really funny. Oh, by the way, happy Turtle Week. It's uh, officially was Turtle Day the other day, which uh, is another thing we should talk about is the devastation that these products are, uh, you know, causing to our planet, it's not only the spill, it, that's not the only problem, the spill, there's the drilling, there's the construction of pipelines, there's sour gas wells, there's all of these things that uh, uh, contribute to the problems on the planet from uh, climate change to uh, deforestation to, uh, 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 you know, just invading wildlife and invading the natural habitats of these creatures and uh, shrinking them and causing their numbers to like plummet as well as like plants and everything that are affected by these things. It's just horrible, like horrible, horrible, horrible. Like we are here on this planet to live and like, uh, I don't know, like certain people's religion will tell them that we have dominion over the plants and animals on the planet. And I've always seen it as, we don't have dominion. We are here, if anything, to protect and watch over the planet. And I guess it wouldn't need protection and wouldn't need to be watched over if we weren't here. But seeing we are, we are here to, you know, make as little impact as we can. We don't, we are not the sole inhibitor or sole living things on the planet. And we have to respect that and acknowledge that. I am rambling on and on and on. But I found it really funny that like, you know, three or four days after this disaster in the Gulf of uh, Mexico that uh, BP had the nerve to uh, come to the Canadian government and ask for permission to drill in our Arctic regions. Can you imagine if this same sort of disaster happened there? I mean, okay, yeah, it's horrible it happens anywhere, but can you imagine in the middle of winter with ice, you know, like as thick as me or whatever, over, you know, over top of this, and that thing bursts and it just bursts and it hits the bottom of the ice. It's got nowhere to go. There's nowhere, no way possible to clean this thing. You'd have seals and bear, polar bears like covered in oil and it would just be 
even more disastrous than what's going on right now because it would be impossible to clean. You wouldn't be able to spray, uh, disper disperse, disperse, dispersants, <laughs> you know, like over the uh, oil because it would be uh, covered by ice. So yeah, I just couldn't believe that they had the nerve to come up here and ask while this uh, ecological disaster was happening. And uh, I don't know, I just think, uh, like Lori said, it is uh, the demand for these products and we need to make a more conscious decision to uh, drive less, uh, use public transit or bike or rollerblade when the opportunity is there, decrease the amount of plastics in your house, uh, switch out your uh, Rubbermaid or sorry for saying a name brand, I don't like saying name brands, but uh, switch out your plastic containers for glass or metal, just like get rid of the demand for the products. Uh, glass is probably better than metal because metal has to be mined, glass is just sand which is probably a lot better. But anyway, that's besides the point. I just want us all to make a better, more conscious decision to respect this planet and respect the other creatures that are on it. And I love you guys, and I can't wait to see you next week.